Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to graph a polar equation r equals 2 plus 2 times the cosine of theta which ends up making a graph that is called the cardioid. So let's see what that looks like. And again, to help us out, we have a table of values for theta, an angle anywhere from 0 to 2 pi in radians, the first 90 degrees or the first pi over 2 we took small intervals and then we took some bigger intervals here. Then we found the cosine of theta twice the cosine of theta, and then 2 plus twice the cosine of theta, which is equal to r, the variable that we want to then graph. All right, let's start with the first one. If the angle is 0, then we know that r is 4. So at this point, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. We put a dot right there. When the angle is 30 degrees, or pi divided by 6, is 2 plus the square root of 3. The square root of 3 is about 1.7. That would be about 3.7. So that puts us about there. At Pi over 4, 45 degrees is 2 plus about 1.4, that would be 3.4. That would put us right about there and make that a little bit brighter. So there we go. Then at um, pi over 3 or 60 degrees, it is equal to 3. And then at 90 degrees, it's equal to 2. So you can see that we start from this location and it becomes something like that. So that's the first 90 degrees of the graph. All right, next we go to 3 pi over 4 at 2 minus square root of 2. That would be 2 minus about 1.4, about 0 0.6. So at 45 degrees in this direction from the vertical, we're about 0.6. So we go to about right there. Then at pi, we have 0. So when you go all the way to 180 degrees, we're down to 0. So this continues on like this. And so that's the graph for the first 180 degrees or for the first pi radians. Then moving on to 5 pi over 4, now becomes back to 0.6. It looks like it's going to be a mirror image, so back to about here. Then at 3 pi over 2, we go back up to 2. So 3 pi over 2, that's over here. We go back up to there. And then at 7 pi over 4, we're 2 plus about 1.4, about 3.4. So we're about 1, 2, 3. Oh, I'm 1 too far. This is 3. I want to go up to 2. Now 3.4, that would be about there, and then we come back and back to 4. So it looks like we do have indeed something that looks like that. So that looks like what they call a cardioid, a little bit like a heart in, in a way, and I don't know if that's why they call it cardioid or not, but uh, it looks very symmetrical. It makes one complete pass like this for the full 360 degrees or for full 2 pi radians. So that's how we graph r equals 2 plus 2 times the cosine of theta, and that's how that's done.